Kanye West has become the sole owner of the world's most successful fashion brand, thanks to Yeezy sneakers, which made around $3 billion in 2019. Yes, we remember back in 2015, Kanye declared himself $53 million in debt and even asked Mark Zuckerberg for money. But now, things have changed a lot for the rapper. Kanye is officially a billionaire. In March 2020, Gap teamed up with Mr. West fashion company Yeezy for a new clothing line named Yeezy Gap, which was to be introduced in the first half of 2020. To date, a $200 recycled nylon jacket has been unveiled from the line. Gap has made a far bigger bet on Yeezy, making a 10-year deal that started from June 2020. Gap expects to break $150 million in sales in its first full year in 2022, envisioning it to become a billion-dollar revenue brand within eight years, with exceeding sales of $1 billion as soon as 2023. The sneaker side of Yeezy was valued at as much as $3 billion last year, citing a document from Bank of America. Today, we are going to discuss how Yeezy helped Kanye West in becoming a multi-billionaire. Kanye Omari West was born on June 8, 1977, in Atlanta, Georgia. Following his parents' divorce when he was three, West moved with his mother to Chicago, Illinois. Kanye met a producer, DJ, named No ID and began experimenting with music. School dropout Kanye West started his career early enough in 1996 and created beats for expanding local artists. His interest has paid him really well, and his list of music achievements has since been increasing. Kanye was awarded beat BET Awards 2004 for the Best New Artist, and next year won the Best Male Video at the 2005 MTV Video Music Awards. Kanye's songs Gold Digger and Jesus Walks were named Video of the Year. Kanye married Kim Kardashian, a famous model and celebrity in 2014. Kardashian and West have four children, North, Psalm, Saint, and Chicago. Back in February, Kim filed for divorce, and their marriage came to an end after seven years. Yeezy sneakers have made people go crazy for them, spending thousands. Even people use sneaker buying bots to never pair online before they sell out in seconds. The man behind that craze is Kanye West. Passionate Kanye West didn't want to become a celebrity fashion designer. To make his place in the fashion industry, West interned at Fendi in 2009 on a month stipend of $500. West revealed that he went $16 million in debt trying to get a clothing line off the ground, but no success whatsoever. Then he entered the sneaker world. West revealed that he couldn't afford to buy the shoes he loved, and he even got kicked out of class for drawing Jordans. Yeezy partnered with Nike in 2009. During the initial years, customers were dying to grab a pair. Any website you go to, Yeezys would probably sell out in like five seconds. West wasn't as designing sneakers just for hype beasts, so he partnered with Adidas, a $25 billion company in 2013. The hype increased West's ambition, but the more shoes he released, the less special they became. West doesn't desire Yeezy's legacy to go way beyond an expensive and inaccessible shoe. West wanted to make a pair of Yeezys accessible to everyone. Adidas has trusted Kanye West and Yeezys. Adidas made 400 million pairs of shoes last year, but a fraction of them were Yeezys to create this artificial sense of scarcity. West praised the company for both paying him properly and giving him creative freedom. In 2015, the rapper and designer told BET he was $16 million in debt. A year later, he said he owed $53 million and asked Facebook Incorporated founder Mark Zuckerberg to invest in him. By 2018, Yeezy was earning more than $100 million in royalties through its Adidas relationship. His first shoe with the company was the Yeezy Boost 750, which was limited to 9,000 pairs and sold out in under 10 minutes in 2015. Yeezy Season 1 received support from popular celebrities including Rihanna and, of course, Kim Kardashian. In September 20. 18 came the largest Yeezys drop ever. There were rumors that over a million pairs of 350 V2 triple whites had hit the market in what Adidas called its most democratic drop in Yeezy history. Markets were flooded with Yeezys, but they were not selling out in hours. Was Yeezy time over? In 2019, Adidas took a step back. CEO Casper Rorsted told investors in May that there won't be any significant growth in the Yeezy business in the fiscal year 2019. 
Adidas would release shoes in more limited quantities. Yeezy topped 1.5 billion in 2019, about a 50% increase from 2018, making Kanye the highest paid person in hip hop. Then came 2020. West's partnership with Adidas proved lucky for him during the pandemic. Yeezy received between $2 million and $5 million as a paycheck protection program loan to help the company keep its more than 100 employees. The Adidas Yeezy deal is set to end in 2026, but until then, both Kanye and Adidas are seeing Yeezys continue to sell out online. Through this Adidas partnership, Kanye gets a 15% royalty on wholesale and has brought Yeezy to the next level. Forbes also reports that the rapper has about $17 million in cash, $35 million in stock, and at least $21 million in real estate, and about $3,845,162 worth of vehicles. Yeezy sneakers have played a great part in Yeezy's success, but the clothing line Yeezy Gap has attained a lot more attention. Yeezy Gap products feature apparel for men, women, and a kid's line. Gap, an American clothing retailer, has seemed to struggle in recent years and has joined hands with Kanye for revival. Kanye has worked with Gap in his teen years and has shown interest in becoming Steve Jobs of Gap. Already making a presence at New York and Paris Fashion Weeks, Yeezy is topping the charts. According to Bloomberg, Yeezy was valued at $3.2 billion to $4.7 billion by UBS Group AG. What are the terms of the deal? Well, they're not yet revealed, but what's important here is that this agreement doesn't include footwear as Kanye has partnered with Adidas till 2026. So, the plan was to create modern, elevated basics for men, women, and kids at accessible price points. Yeezy merchandise on Farfetch recently included a $925 men's graphic cardigan and a $241 women's thermal sweater. At Gap, jeans and tops often cost less than $50, and are regularly discounted. Kanye's designer version is showcased in Gap stores and online. In September of last year, West appeared on an episode of Nick Cannon's podcast, Cannon's Class, and said that his net worth rose to $5 billion after announcing his partnership with Gap earlier that year. The value of the new Gap tie-up is estimated to be worth as much as $970 million of the total. Investors did recognize its importance and sent shares up the most in at least 40 years when the deal was announced in June. Gap Chief Executive Officer Sonia Singal said West is, quote, very, very focused on the new line. The entire Gap team heads down and believes this to be a very big potential for us. According to some teams which were revealed, West earns royalties on sales and his rate increases as the business grows. Plus, he'll get stock warrants as the line hits sales targets, with the highest set at $700 million. Kanye West is currently the wealthiest black person in U.S. history history, with a reported net worth of $6.6 .6 billion, and this deal could bring the mogul's net worth to a historic new height. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do you guys know any other insides related to the Yeezy Gap deal? Let us know in the comment section. If you guys liked the video, then don't forget to hit the like button and share the video with your friends. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from us. We will be back soon with another exciting video. Till then, take care.